Hello, this is Pete from Good Reset and today I'd like to show you 5 things you should do after upgrading or installing Windows 10. First thing you should do is to install your must-have applications. Um, we all have different list of must-have applications, but at least we should have two types of applications in common on those lists. And these are antivirus application and browser. I can recommend you a couple of unfree antiviruses. For instance, Avira is worth to check. It's free and it's pretty decent antivirus. Uh, also, you may have a look on AVG or Avast antivirus. I'll put a link to those antiviruses in the description of that video. Please Google about other free antiviruses for Windows 10 because by the time you're watching this video there might be other free and good antiviruses. And browser. Um, most popular are Firefox or Chrome. Uh, you may also want to have a look on Edge. If not then uh, right click on taskbar Edge icon and unpin it. Number two is to switch off data mining. I'm not sure if you are aware but Windows 10 collects some data about your activities within Windows 10. To make sure that you are sharing with Microsoft only the data you want to share, go to Start, Settings and Privacy and then go through all those categories and read carefully what you want to share with Microsoft, what you don't want to share with Microsoft and switch it on and off accordingly. Number three is to customize start menu and taskbar and I'm talking about this area here. It's really important that you have only applications that you use commonly in this area. First of all let's decide how big start menu you need. So just grab start menu on the edge and swipe it to the left or right. For me two columns is just enough. The second thing is to get rid of all the applications that you don't need from this area. To do that just right click on it and unpin from start. And now let's bring applications that I use into this area. So to do that let's search for them. Let's say I want to put one note there. Right click on it and pin to start. Let's see if I have it there. There you go. And to move it around just press it and move to whatever locations you need it. You can also resize your application icon. To do that, right click on it, resize and choose the size that you want. And once you're happy with the setup you have here, your work should be much more efficient. Now the applications that you frequently use you can also put on the taskbar and to do that again search for the application right click on it and pin to taskbar. You will now see an icon of that application on your taskbar and you can now easily open your application. Now another thing that you may want to do is to get rid of this big fat Cortana bar. You just need an icon for Cortana so right click on it, go to Cortana and show Cortana icon. Simple as that. Now your Cortana will be available for you after you click an icon. The last thing is to customize your user folders. This is really handy. To do that go to settings, personalize, start and at the bottom choose which folder appear on start. And let's say I want to see my documents and downloads already in start menu. Let's see. It's there. So now I have a quick access to, for instance, downloads. So choose whichever folder you need to have in start menu. Let's say I want to have personal folder as well. And there you go. It's there. Tip number four is to customize your desktop. I have two advices for you. One is to put this PC along with other icons for the applications that you frequently use on the desktop. To put this PC on the desktop which allows you to quick access to your hard drive and folders. Uh, just right click, personalize, go to theme and the desktop icon settings and check your computer desktop icon. This will allow you to have this PC on the desktop. Hit apply and OK. And uh, in case you want to put um, any applications icon on the desktop, just search for it. 
right click on the application, open folder location and then just drag your application and copy here. There you go, you just uh, created an icon on the desktop for your favorite application. It's basically the same thing as you would pin it to taskbar. And the second um, advice here is to customize your uh, action center. For instance, if you don't want to be bothered by notifications, you can um, quickly go to quiet hours and notifications will not be shown anymore. To do that, go to start, settings, system and notifications and choose which action in action center should be shown. Choose quiet hours and then you will see it right there. And number five is to make your windows look nicer. You can do it by setting up uh, right colors and wallpapers for you. To do that, right click on desktop personalize, go to colors. In case you don't see color picker here, you need to switch off automatic color picker. Then you can choose right color for your windows taskbar. Then to actually uh, windows taskbar change colors, you need to also show colors on start and taskbar. And you can also make um, start menu and taskbar transparent. Now let's choose a theme. Go to themes, theme settings. You can get more themes online from Microsoft. If you click that link, it will take you automatically to Windows download for wallpapers. Let's, for instance, click download this one, save it. And let's make use of recently created shortcut to downloads and just double click on it. And you will see automatically this wallpaper is installed for you. Windows key plus M to minimize everything. And as you can see, wallpaper is there. Um, I can also recommend you Smashing Magazine, which have excellent uh, wallpapers uh, for you posted each month. So just go to graphic section, wallpapers. Uh, let's see what are the wallpapers for December for us. If you scroll down, you can see that they have wallpapers ready for you to download. Each individual wallpapers is posted along with many resolutions to choose from. You can also choose whether you want to have this wallpaper with uh, up-to-date calendar or not. Let's download this one with calendar. So I'm looking for full HD resolution with calendar. Right click on it and save image as. Downloads. Let's make use of recently created shortcut to the download folder. There it is. To actually set it up, go back to your settings, themes, backgrounds actually. Let's select picture, browse for your theme and choose your new wallpaper. Windows key plus M to minimize everything. And there you go, you can see your new wallpaper set up for you. So that's it, hope you liked it. Please subscribe, thumbs up and let me know in comments what you think. Best of luck.